Yo, what's up? Bringing you the I'm gonna be the show 17. Welcome back to episode 12 of Win One Take One. If you guys did not see the last episode, make sure to check that out. So in the last one, we picked up another victory, and now we are on a win streak. We're on a six-game win streak, as a matter of fact. I think overall, we are 11-2 and two in this win one take one series with the players that you guys have suggested for me. So we're doing pretty well. So we're going to go into today's upgrades before we get into that. So we were talking about it a little bit in the last episode. We kind of briefly mentioned it, but I didn't really get that much feedback. But based on how many people you guys suggested for the upgrades, I think you guys want to see winning streaks count as an extra upgrade. So what we're going to do is a five game win streak is going to get us a plus one upgrade and a 10 game win streak is going to get us plus three in upgrades if we ever get to 10. And if we ever get above that, we'll decide later, but probably a 15 game win streak would be plus five upgrades if we get to that point. But with that said, let's get into today's upgrade. So we have four players to upgrade. The first two are in the bullpen. One of them being Felipe Rivero and he was mentioned by Zachary Bile, Abby to go, Diamond Dynasty King, Justin Sider and Sid Polston so we get a nice lefty in our bullpen good hit per nine and K per nine numbers 96 velocity and has some good pitches so a nice lefty to add next we got Roberto Osuna and he was mentioned by Diamond Dynasty King Owen Headley injured New York Mets and Sid Polston so I think we got our closer right here one of my favorite gold pitchers in this game for the bullpen has good hit per nine and K per nine numbers velocity and breaks pretty good and he has some great pitches so I'm pretty happy about this pickup right here next we got Nelson Cruz for right field and he was mentioned by Zachary Bile, Beto Potato, Diamond Dynasty King and Justin Sider so Nelson Cruz contact numbers are not bad he has great power numbers 52 vision as a right fielder his fielding is okay he's kind of slow but he has good arm strength so he still will be able to throw some people out uh, not a bad pickup. I'm happy with that power right there. I think he's going to be a good addition to the team. And the final player we picked up was player of the month, Zach Kozart. And he was mentioned by Abby the Goat, Diamond Dynasty King, and Sid Polston. So contact, he's not bad. 76 versus righties, 90 versus lefties, 79 power versus righties, and 89 versus lefties. He's pretty good against lefties. He's going to be our shortstop, so his fielding stats are not bad. Would have preferred higher arm strength, but I really don't rate fielding that high in this game. And 61 speed, probably the best hitting shortstop that we could have gotten. So you guys made me spend some stubs here. But I think we got ourselves another great player. So this is what our team is looking like now. We got Conforto, Cozart, Cano. Cruz, Rizzo, Liam, Ramos, and Enciarte. That is our starting lineup. On our bench, we got Bellinger, Hamilton, Gordon, Kemp, and Tulowitzki. So a good mix of speed and power. And then in our bullpen, we got Doolittle, Strickland, Herrera, Wilson, Rivero, Caps, and Osuna. So our bullpen is looking pretty nice right now. And then finally, our starting rotation, we got Grom, Cole, Hernandez, Richards, and Robbie Ray. So rotation not looking bad either. But those are the upgrades we made for this episode. Let's jump into the next game and see if we can continue this winning streak. So we're going to be going up against the Cincinnati Bruins. They got a creative player, Blackman, Dawson, Martinez, McGriff, Sanchez, Finley, and Correa. So a full diamond team with Doug Fister on the mound. Not bad right there. So in the top of the first inning, Conforto up the bat. And the first pitch is going to start it off with a bang, a solo shot into center field that's what i'm talking about that's the way you want to start off a game so in the first inning we got kozar his first at bat for the team and he's gonna line it right to the shortstop that's gonna bring up robinson cano and he's gonna rip one into center field that was a hard liner and it's gonna go right off the wall so we only end up with a single right there big hit but nothing really came out of it so that's gonna bring up nelson cruz his first at bat for the team and he's gonna line one into left field for a now so now we got Anthony Rizzo, Cano still at first, and Rizzo's going to come up with a base hit. That's going to give us runners on first and second in the inning. That's going to bring up Jake Lamb, and he's going to get walked. The sinker low in the zone, bringing up Wilson Ramos, and Ramos is going to hit it to the first baseman. He is diving for that, and he's running the first. We're going to be safe. We are running home. And we end up picking up two runs, and then Ramos is going to second. Now, I thought Lamb was going to go to third, but he ended up going back to second. He dekes out the catcher right there, and now we're in a mini pickle. The throw to second, and we're going to get out, but we do pick up three runs in the inning, which was huge. So now we're going to the bottom of the first 
Robbie Ray picking up the strikeout. Still in the bottom of the first and 0-2 count. Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts for Robbie Ray. Now we're going to the top of the second inning. And Robbie Ray is going to hit a little blooper into center field. And that's going to drop for a base hit. Center fielder diving for that one. Couldn't get there in time. So Ray, not bad right there. That's going to bring up Zach Kozar. His second at bat for the team. And he's going to hit a grounder. Now I'm pretty sure he meant to dive right there. And he jumped instead. Sometimes people have two different buttons. But we'll take that. Now we have runners on the corners for Robinson Cano. And Cano's going to rip one to the second baseman. I don't know why he dove right there. But his center fielder misplays that. So Kozar comes all the way around to score. We're going to go up 5 nothing, And Cano is going to end up at third for the triple. A big hit right there. So that's going to bring up Nelson Cruz. His second at bat for the team. And he's going to hit one deep into left field. Now I thought this was a home run. And it's going to end up going off the wall. So Nelson Cruz ends up with a big time double. Making it a 6 nothing game. Nothing else happened in that inning. So we're going to the third. And Jake Liam is going to come up with a liner into the gap. And he's going to end up with a double. So we are hitting the ball really, really good right now. That's going to bring up Inciarte. And he's going to line one into center field. Now his center fielder just gave up on that. I don't know what he was doing to his right fielder. Has to make that long run. And Inciarte is already at third. I'm pretty sure he just gave up right here. But Inciarte picking up the inside the park home run. And we'll take that. That's another plus one for us. That's going to bring up Nelson Cruz in the next inning. And he's going to line one down that right field line. A deadly area right there. He's going to end up with a double. So Nelson Cruz, not a bad debut so far. We're in the fourth inning for Rizzo. And he is going to send one deep into left field. A two-run shot. And we're taking a 10-0 lead in this game. Absolutely smashing the ball right now. And we're going to the bottom of the fourth. And my man is bunting right here just to get the mercy rule out of the way. But we will take that. A mercy rule. We end up winning 10-0 versus a full diamond team. And Robbie Ray ends up getting the player of the game. We ended up giving up no hits in this one. Now looking at the box score. Conforto goes one for three. Had two hits and a run. Had the home run to start off the game. Kozar goes one for three with a run. Cano goes two for three with two runs and two RBIs. He had a pretty good game. Cruz in his debut goes two for three with a run and an RBI. Rizzo goes two for three with two runs and two RBIs. He had that two run bomb. Lamb goes one for two with a run. Ramos goes one for three with two RBIs. And then Inciarte goes one for two with a run and two RBIs. He had the inside the park home run. So everyone on our team got a hit. We were killing the ball in this one. And then Robbie Ray, he even got a hit himself. But pitching wise, he pitched four innings, didn't give up a hit, and had two strikeouts. So he ended up getting the player of the game. A lot of other people could have gotten it. But overall, a big team performance for the team. That's going to put us to a 703 rating, which is kind of bad right now. I had two lost connections, which dropped me 70 points. But the recap for this one, we got the 10 0 win. So we get plus one for the win, plus three for the mercy rule, plus three for the three home runs by Rizzo, Inciarte, and Conforto, and plus one for the team shutout. So in total, we get plus eight upgrades to gold. So let me know down below in the comments which eight players you would like to see in the next episode. So going over the team once again in our rotation, we can upgrade Cole, King Felix, Richards, or Robbie Ray. In our lineup, we got Conforto, Lamb, Ramos, or Inciarte. On the bench, Bellinger, Hamilton, Gordon, Kemp, or Tulowitzki, which whoever leaves the starting lineup normally goes to the bench. And then finally, in our bullpen, we can upgrade Doolittle, Strickland, Herrera, Wilson, or Carter Caps. So those are the positions that we can upgrade. So let me know once again down below in the comments which eight gold players you would like to see join the team for the next episode. Now I'm not sure when the next episode will drop because the rank seasons is ending this week and I kind of got to grind for that too. So I might be able to get this out by Monday or Tuesday, but if not, 100% on Wednesday at the latest. So once again, let me know which players you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.